Well, the rain started Sunday afternoon and we had rain during the peak hours of the night and into the morning. Yes. Well, when we woke up, like the district was in shock because the river came down, swove a swell and thing like that. Well, the bridge up there, the water reached over the bridge and it was going through the bridge. No one wanted to pass over. The Anglican Church, the river took, I would say, the three quarter of it. Mm. And grave. Actually, my aunt, I witnessed my aunt um, Sepulka turn over and the casket went down. So I assume at the time you were still in school. Yes, I was in like maybe second form, heading towards third. Yes. So you couldn't go to school for a few years because of that incident, correct? Correct, yeah. Was your home affected at the time? No. It wasn't, but a lot of your friends were affected. Right. It was basically like fun to us, like, you know. But we didn't understand the danger. You didn't understand the the danger. danger. Right. When I entered the, the, the front of the district, it was like a strange area. Yes. I couldn't believe it's my same hometown I'm coming. I was abroad. But when I come, I see the dirt, them pack up on the side of the road, house dump up. You could even see some house down by the bottom. Mm -hmm. And my uncle shop up there, dirt going and it all over. Mm -hmm. And river coast change, church break down and all these things. I heard a lot of people said nature, you know, when it come on to certain time of the year, like after 20 years, then things Happen like this, you know, and like through droughts and so forth, and farmers burn the hillside, you know, and certain type of chemical they use. You have landslide when whenever it rain. You know, persons come here like from the Rada place and um, educate us. Yes. Or best we can, you know, do to help, you know, save the environment. The environment. Some people migrate, you know, they leave the, the community. They relocate, I should say. The people that went away, they came back. Yes. Because they got houses in um, Enfield. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then come back in the area to live. So it's and build back them houses. So it's a resilient community, you would say. Right, right. Because I dare so we have fun. We don't have nothing else. So as much as the river probably brought one of the most terrible memories mm -hmm. to you. It's still yeah, but we love the river still. Because if, if Water Commission decides to say, well, let me cut up water, no trouble we. Because we have a river all the time, we can go go and bathe and wash the water clothes. Is nice and clean. Very clear. nice, very nice. And people come and make money from it too because they come and have them bash, yes. sell them food and all that. So we can't do it without river. We love it. Dangerous, but we love it.